Welcome back everyone. I hope you are safe at your home. So this video is for the students of class 7th subject English poem number 3 the shed book honeycomb and this is my lecture number 2 for poem number 3. In this lecture we shall first of all revise the summary of the poem 3 the shed and after that we shall discuss the homework solution of our lecture number 1 of poem 3 in which we shall discuss the word meanings and question answers of our poem The Shed. So the poem The Shed is written by Frank Flynn. Objectives of reading this poem are to make learners know about the shed and its significance or importance in modern context. To enable them to feel the richness of language, rhythm and music of words. So here are some key points related to the poem. Location of the shed is at the bottom of the garden. A spider's web is seen hanging across the door. When the wind blows, the creaking sound of the rusty hinges attract the poet's attention. The poet is in the relaxed mood as he is now in bed and plans to satisfy his curiosity to see what is hidden inside the shed. Whenever the poet passes through the way, he feels that someone is staring at him. But the poet's brother convinces him by saying that a ghost lives in the shed and he may attack on him if he enters the shed. The poet is partially frightened but he does not completely believe his brother and has a plan to look through the broken window one day. So this is the picture of the shed and this is the, actually the shed about which the poet is referring to. So as I told in my previous lecture also that a shed is a small room away from the main house for storing or keeping things, animals, tools and vehicles. Okay. So the summary of the poem is there is a shed at the bottom of the poet's garden and the poet wishes to visit it one day. There is a spider's web on the door of the shed and its hinges are rusty and creak when the wind blows. The poet often thinks about it while lying in his bed. On one side of the shed, there is a dusty window and three of its window panes are broken. The poet feels as if someone stares at him through the window and whenever the poet visits the shed, he would like to find out who lives there. The poet's brother informs him that a ghost lives inside the shed and if the poet dares to enter the shed the ghost would chop off his head chop off his head means the ghost would remove his head from his body despite these warnings given by his brother the poet wishes to visit the shed and peep inside and look inside The poet believes that his brother tells him imaginative stories about the ghost as he wants to keep the shed for himself. The poet no longer feels anyone staring at him or hears any strange noises coming from the shed. The spider too is no longer there. Thus very soon he would go inside the shed. So. This was the summary of the poem that is the shed which is written by the poet Frank Flynn. So now we shall discuss the homework solution of a lecture number one that is poem three the shed. In this homework solution we shall discuss word meanings and question answers of a poem number three the shed. So first of all open your fair notebooks. And if you are having your books, then your books too. Draw margin and make a proper format. Write down your poem number three, The Shed, and the poet's name, Frank Flynn. Write down the heading, word meanings. The first word is shed. 
Its meaning is an old store house. I repeat, the first word is shed. Its meaning is an old store house. Second word is creak. Its meaning is a harsh, shrill sound. I repeat, second word is creak. Its meaning is a harsh, shrill sound. Third word is staring. Staring means to look fixedly. I repeat, third word is staring. It means to look fixedly. Fourth word is hinge. Its meaning is a jointed device or flexible piece on which a door or gate swings or moves. I repeat, a jointed device or flexible piece on which a door or gate swings or moves. Fifth word is den. Den means a secret place. Den, it means a secret place. Sixth word is rotten. Rotten means bad smelling. Rotten, it means bad smelling. Seventh word is peep. Peep means look. Now, we shall do our question answers. These question answers are given on page number 49 under the heading Working with the Poem. So, the first question is, who is the speaker in the poem? Answer, the speaker of the poem is a small kid. I repeat, the question is, who is the speaker in the poem? The answer is, the speaker of the poem is a small kid. The speaker of the poem is a small kid. Second, is she or he afraid or curious or both? Second question is, is she or he afraid or curious or both? Answer, he is not afraid but curious as he says that he will go inside the shed one day. I repeat, he is not afraid but curious as he says that he will go inside the shed one day. Third question is, what is she or he planning to do soon? Answer, she or he is planning to go inside the shed soon. I repeat the question, what is she or he planning to do soon? Answer, she or he is planning to go inside the shed soon. Fourth question is, but not just yet. Suggest doubt, fear, hesitation, laziness or something else. Choose the word which seems right to you. Tell others why you chose it. I repeat the question. But not just yet, suggest doubt, fear, hesitation, laziness or something else. Choose the word which seems right to you. Tell others why you chose it. Answer, this phrase shows the poet's hesitation to go inside the shed. This phrase shows the poet's hesitation to go inside the shed. He has no doubt in his mind. He doesn't have any fear. He is not lazy. He only delays his plans. I repeat, this phrase shows the poet's hesitation to go inside the shed. He has no doubt in his mind. He does not have any fear. He is not lazy. He only delays his plans. Now, this is your second question. But there is a note that this question is supposed to be done by the students themselves. So do not write down this question in your fair notebook. In your homework, you must have done in your rough notebook. So just have a look at that. Okay. So the question is, is there a room in your house or a house in your neighborhood or locality where you would rather not go alone and never at night? If there is such a place and a story to go with it, let others hear all about it. I repeat, is there a room in your house or a house in your neighborhood or locality where you would rather not go alone? 
and never at night. If there is such a place and a story to go with it, let others hear all about it.